Now we're good. <laughs> hey, everyone. Hello, 75 hard. Crew. Crew. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday, right? It is Thursday, October 15th. And we both know that we have not been on here on uh, for a bit. Uh, and there are a multitude of reasons. Uh, number one reason being we were technically waiting for the date of the show. Uh, and while we had a tentative date, we also knew that it was going to be moved. Um, so honestly, like, you know, with with contest prep, it you have to know how much time you have and you have to have the, the dates lined up and, and it did create a lot of uncertainty. Um, you so have the right plan for it and be able to shift it. Right. And, and that's one of the things that I love about 75 hard, you know, it's, it's not easy. And you know, the, the dieting and the training, you know, for us, you know, the, those are the things that we do every day, but the consistency, no matter what the hard part is the part that I think that most people are missing. And, and even for us, like we started, you know, we didn't miss workouts and, and, and our, our eating, you know, didn't, didn't spiral out of control. Um, but a lot of the other elements weren't getting done because we had the weight of not knowing what was happening on our head or in our minds. And then, uh, Friday, last Friday, we got word finally that the show was happening, uh, for sure. And while we had tried to time our 75 hard around the shows, with uh with everything that was happening and and just not knowing was what what or when these shows were actually going to go down uh it did prove to be uh one of those tasks that just wasn't pressing enough um because there was so much uncertainty and, and realistically it's not an excuse for why we didn't do it right. um that that's kind of the point of the whole program right to do it no matter what you know it, it's it's the five things that you have to do every day that are a must, not a, sh I, we all know we should do them, but they're must. Um, non-negotiables. Non-negotiables. So as we were chatting, one of the things that has eluded both of us, uh, escape, just in case, is finishing 75 hard. And that is one of the tasks that we want to tackle. And now that we have concrete dates for the show, uh, they are actually happening sooner than the 75 days. But one thing that is still within those 75 days is this year. There are 77 or 78 days left in 2020. And what a 2020 it's been. Mm -hmm. uh, so what better than to close these last 75 days of 2020, 75 hard style, right? Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it's... A tremendous sense of accomplishment to finish. Uh, I know Juan's in this group. He's finished twice. Mm -hmm. I know he hasn't posted much, but um, as one of my clients, he does check in every day. So Molly's on day thirty. Something. Molly's on day thirty. Um, I, saw, so, I think she's at thirty-two. So it's it's quite the accomplishment for everybody. Yeah, and it's sure. and it's one of those victories that we want, and it's continued to escape us, and we've finally put our foot in the ground and said, all right, so we're gonna go do this no matter what. Um, obviously one of the things to our benefit is always that we have a lot of flexibility in the way that we diet um, because you do have to follow the diet for 75 days, but luckily the way that we diet and the way that we structure how we eat doesn't really prevent a lot of things from, from happening right. and everything is always manageable and we can put into our diet, so that's never a problem. We struggle a, a lot more with either remembering the picture or, or making sure that we read on time. Um, those have proven to be bigger struggles. Yeah. Uh, the gallon of water sometimes, you oh know, God, the, that's the, my worst. the day escapes. Yeah. Um, reading, either figuring out whether we read in the morning or at night. You know, it, it's just that little thing that prevents it from being exactly the way it's supposed to be. 100%. So we haven't really struggled with the food. Uh, we haven't struggled with one workout, but sometimes getting that second one yeah. um, hasn't, hasn't happened. Uh, so we start again and then it's like, well, then you miss the, the book Picture. the next day before, you know, it three or four days go by and you've always missed something. So you're either starting from at one every time or uh, you're just like, you know what, I'm, not, I'm just not going to do it. To so now. I think that based on our fitness, based on our current fitness goals uh, with the show coming up November 29th, um, based with some of the life goals that we have as well, um, this is exactly what we want to do. And this is exactly how we want to close. 2020. 
Um, and in addition to that, so that's, uh, that's honestly why we're doing it live because we wanted to talk about it here. But in addition to that, one of the things that we both decided to do is to document the 75 days. So we're probably gonna put out 75 videos of how each of day went day. of every day. Um, so that, you know, mostly for us so that we can look back and be like, wow, we, we tackled it <clears throat> on this day. We had a million things, but we still got our two workouts, drank our gallon of water, read our 10 pages. Um, I know that that's going to prove to be challenging, uh, the weekend of, of, uh, Thanksgiving, but not because of Thanksgiving, but because that's show weekend. So getting two workouts in, uh, that can be any two workouts, right? Or walk outside. We can walk through Brickle. Um, the 10 pages, the picture, the picture is going to be easy. There'll be pictures everywhere, but, um, it will certainly prove to be hard that weekend. Uh, and that's the point, right? You know, you want to do what you have to do, no matter what it's the non-negotiables. Um, but I think that for us personally, closing out 2020, this style is, is going to be what, what we want. And it's going to provide like this crazy victory that's been escaping us. I know, but it's uh, too long. So that alone is going to be a, a win. So if you guys are in this group, uh, I invite you to recommit to going 75 hard with us. And I am going to save this video and I am going to post it in some of the other groups. Uh, and I'm probably going to share it on Facebook, on Facebook, on YouTube, on uh on my channel. I don't know if she's going to post it in hers. Um, and I'm probably going to send an email about it. Uh, I, I honestly believe that it's, that it's one of those things that everybody should do. Cause at the end of the day, no matter what your goal is, whether you're trying to lose weight, build muscle, burn fat, you know, run a race. Uh, I know, uh, Molly's been training for a race. Um, uh, no matter what committing to anything for 75 days is, is an awesome thing. And, and obviously, you know, one of the things that we help with is, is food and training. So if you're not sure how to diet during those 75 days, that's something that we can help with. Uh, if you're not sure how you should be working out, that's something that we can help with. Uh, I can't really recommend uh, what book you should read. It should be a nonfiction book, um, probably some kind of personal development book. Right now I'm reading Atomic Habits. It's, a, it's an amazing book. Um, and she's reading two different, two different books. Um, but but it, indeed, I think that the structure and the continuity uh, just builds the kind of momentum that we all need uh, to take us to the next place. So it doesn't matter where you're starting. Maybe you've never worked out before and maybe you've been a seasoned workout person, but I think 75 continuous days of, of committing to yourself mm -hmm. that you are going to finish this, not finish it because you're trying to lose weight or not finish it because you're trying to get that physical transformation. But just because you said, I'm going to commit to this for 75 days. Um, and it's completely scalable. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of, a lot of my friends on Facebook that are trainers are always arguing about overtraining or you shouldn't listen. It is two workouts. The rules don't say that you've got to beat yourself down in the gym twice a day. It says you got to exercise twice a day and that one of those should be outside. You could walk for both of them, right? The idea is to complete two workouts that are at least 45 minutes, um, every single day. And if both of those workouts are, are walks and that's fine. You know, uh, if I was doing 75 hard and I was still in a wheelchair, then that would mean I'm rolling around twice, right? It doesn't mean I'm beating myself down in the gym. So anyone can do this. Everyone should do this. Uh, and we, while it is two o'clock, um, our food has been on point today. Um, so we are officially starting today. And I think that we would end January 30th, I think would December. be our December 30th. I think that would be our end day. It could be the 31st, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I think I looked it up the right way. I think it's the 30th. Um, but yeah, either way, you said like two days before the year no matter, no matter when you're seeing this video or, or when you're watching, you could start anytime. You could yeah. start at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday, like, <laughs> like we have right now. Um, but I really do think that if you wanted to build some kind of momentum into 2021, mm -hmm. uh, this would be a freaking awesome way to do it. So, uh, if you're in with us, uh, let us know. Let us know. Are you going to post the rules for anyone who's not aware of what we're um, doing? The rules are in this page, but I'll repost them in, in the comment section. But let us know that you're doing it with us in the comments. Yes. Um, again, I'm going to share this in a couple of places. So if you're in, uh, I'm going to try to get this out today to, to everybody so that if you're in, you're in. Um, but again, if you're watching this and it is 
the end of November. You know, you could commit right now. So yes. 75 hard. Let's take, do I don't know what round this is that we're trying, but we're going to finish it this time. Yes. Boom.